Coming up on JNN, a student shares her story as a soccer coach, we review homecoming week, Nate Cato comes from the JNN Fall Sports Box, we take a look at two sisters who share the volleyball spotlight, and Mariah Dominguez goes up front with cheerleading. All this and more on JNN. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lisa Miranda. And I'm Anaisa Medina. Today is Friday, October 31st. Fast Club's Red Ribbon Week is coming to an end today at the end of lunch. The number 8.6 million has been posted around campus all week. If you know what this means, submit your answer before the end of lunch to make yourself eligible to win. In the meantime, let's get started. A junior soccer player here at Gregory is working to spread the game she loves to other kids. Julia Lobo and Angie Morales bring you the story. Elizabeth Hayes is a junior here at Gregory who balances a schedule of varsity tennis, travel soccer, maintains a 4.6 GPA with four AP classes, and volunteers her time as a U10 Ajax soccer coach. Miss Moore got me the coaching position from just, she knew I had experience playing and then she knew I was interested in uh, coaching a team, so she called me one day and um, told me I had a team I could coach. With 14 years of competitive soccer under her belt, Hayes is able to be an effective coach for the Houston Dynamo's girls soccer team. I definitely don't want to be the coach that yells all the time or is like the coach that makes the kids not want to come to practice. I want to be able to teach them while making it fun, especially at this age. I can't just, I can't yell at them or just make them do drills the whole time. I have to make it fun. The biggest challenge is definitely probably trying to keep their attention because they're so young and they're not used to being focused for more than probably five minutes. So they're usually all over the place. While learning to work with young children, Hayes hopes to take these experiences into her future. After college, I'm like hoping to be a neonatologist, which is a doctor that cares for newborn and premature babies. I'm actually seeing like their entire personalities of the kids instead of just like spending maybe like a few minutes with them, just saying hi when they're with like parents and being shy. I think Coachy is a great coach because she teaches us how to dribble straight and pass. I really enjoy being able to just spread um, the game to more kids because it's really been a big part of my life, so I'm hoping that it will be the same impact on their lives too. This has been Julia Lobo and Angie Morales reporting for JNN. Way to give back to your community, Coach E. Speaking of giving back, Military Club and Get Motivated Daily are coordinating the third annual Veterans Day Assembly. The two clubs are requesting that students invite any veterans to be honored for their service. The clubs are also looking for students with special talents to perform at the assembly. If interested, see advisor Anna York. The assembly will take place on November 4th at 1230 in the gym. Yearbook Senior ads must be submitted and paid for by Friday, November 14th in room C215. See advisor Melissa Alvarado with any questions. The lost and found bins are overflowing. If you've lost something, go to the SBO before Friday, November 7th. Anything left unclaimed will be given to charity or disposed of. Homecoming came to a close last Friday night after an eventful week. Let's take a quick look back at last week's activities.
more coverage on Homecoming, check out jagnews.net for multimedia, including an audio slideshow on the Powderpuff Game and on the Harvest Festival. The Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, FITM, will be holding an application workshop on Monday, November 3rd for all seniors interested in attending the college. Sign-ups close today in our Outside of College Counselor Cindy Shepard's office. Girls basketball tryouts begin Monday, November 10th. Practice schedules are available with Coach Jeff Sawyer in room L106. Next up, Nate Cato comes from the JNN Fall Sports Box. What's up, Jags? I'm Nate Cato reporting to you the latest news in Gregory Varsity Athletics from right here in the JNN Fall Sports Box. Last week, our Lady Jags on the golf team teed off their postseason after finishing with a league record of 8-2. Lindsay Martin, Karina Hart, Sarah Ramsdale, Isabel Chang, Christina Chan, and Ali Bussell all qualified for the sessions tournament where unfortunately, the girls season came to a close. The football team recovered from a tough loss against Mohai 7-42 and crushed Joho 55-6 last week for a homecoming victory. Tonight, the boys face Enox for a Jag senior night. Let's get out there to support our boys in the last home game of the season. Cross Country is competing in the MMC League meet this afternoon. Let's cross our fingers and hope that our Jags continue on to sections. Girls Volleyball beat Johansson on Tuesday 3-0. To see how our girls did against their MMC rival Enox, check out thejagnews.net. We have two sisters dominating the volleyball court. Chelsea and Lexi Rios are both starting as middle blockers on this year's varsity team. Let's just check out their story. It's a sport we grew up playing with our family at the park or something. Um, our parents played, our, all of our cousins and our aunts and uncles would play, so we, I grew up playing with it and I fell in love with it. Yeah, it something that we did every weekend and it was like something I enjoyed. It brought us all closer as a family because we made it something we did every week. And then just from then on, like I just fell in love with the sport more and more, so I continued to play it throughout high school and club. Whenever I watched her, I always saw like she's such a great player. Like I want to be playing next to her, and I just wanted to be playing volleyball in general. But just the intensity at the games I watched, I never thought that I would be able to like be a part of that. So watching her, the games like really inspired me, I guess you can say. So during the trials, I pushed myself harder to be on varsity because of what I had seen. She was good, but I didn't think she was that good. Mm -hmm. Just saying. <laughs> I like just having my sister there because I know no matter what she's going to be there cheering for me and I'm always there cheering for her and trying to help her out and she's still trying to help me out. Yeah, I really enjoy the encouragement we give each other because it's not the same as your teammate because you know it's like your sister so she really means what she's saying if like something's wrong she's going to tell you straight up. Like we get along really well compared to most people like I don't mind not going out and hanging with my friends and just hanging with her. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me to repeat that. <laughs> And I think playing volleyball together on the same team now just did, it did bring us closer. Yeah, I believe it's created another bond to our other bonds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Rio sisters are one of several siblings showcased in JNN's new series called Sharing the Spotlight. Check out their stories online at jagnews.net, including the Britton brothers in the swimming pool and others to follow. Speaking of the swimming pool, water polo faced Enox on Tuesday. The girls lost 17-2, but the boys were able to lock up a spot in the section playoffs for the first time in Gregory history as the boys won 15-9. Girls Tennis dominated the MMC, MMC and finished off the season undefeated, crowning our girls MMC champs for the third consecutive year. Congrats, ladies. Boys Soccer faced Enox on Tuesday. In the first half, it was Esteban Hernandez who scored once and Raul Sanchez who scored twice to help the Jags lead 3-0. In the second half, Sanchez found a way to break through the Enoch's defense and scored once more to end the game 4-0, putting them in the run for the top three in MMC. Well, that's it for this week's Fall Sports Box. I'm Nate Cato, signing off. Back to you, Anaisa. Thanks, Nate. Key Club is teaming up with UNICEF to eliminate maternal neonatal tetanus. The club is trick-or-treating for UNICEF and is asking for donations to help save mothers and their newborns. Small donation boxes are located in classrooms on campus. Modesto Junior College admissions counselors will be on campus next week to host workshops for students planning on attending MJC, rather in the spring term as a current senior or in the fall semester after graduation. See college counselor Cindy Shepard in the L Building office to sign up. And now, Mariah Dominguez goes up front with the cheerleading squad. Hey Jags, I'm Ryan Dominguez and this is Upfront. Today's topic, cheerleading. I mean, it looks easy, but is it really? Like a lot of girls who don't cheer, I've always wondered how hard it actually is. 
So, I decided to go up front for one cheer practice to find out what it takes to perform a cheer. I learned a couple new cheers that you might want to learn if you're a part of the spot at tonight's game. Let's take a look. We are Our cheer squad consists of 39 girls. 22 of the cheerleaders from the JV and freshman squads taught me a few of their cheers out of the 30 they perform at every game. Each cheer starts with the call out, followed by motions, chants, claps, steps, and of course, facials. Sophomores Julia Middleton and Hunter Lambert took the lead in demonstrating each cheer. We started with the cheer, yell out your colors. Jaguars, blue. Okay. It's like yellow, red, gold. Okay, so. Yell out your colors, Jaguars, blue. And I got so cross. Blue and gold. Yell out your colors, Jaguars, blue and gold. Got it. Yell out your colors, Jaguars, blue. I've got to give those cheerleaders credit. The cheers may seem easy to do, but there's a lot more to it than just yelling. So, I asked them to teach me an easier cheer. Okay, so stomp, so stomp, clap, hit. Stomp, stomp, clap, hit. Stomp, clap, hit. Stomp, stomp, clap, hit. One, two, three. Now, they really put me to the test and had me do the cheers all alone. Yell out your colors, Jaguars blue and gold. G R E G O R I Gregory. Jaguars. G R E G O R I Gregory. Jaguars. Go Jags. If you plan on cheering in the spot at tonight's football game, I just showed you two more cheers that you can do. Well, that's it for me this week. I'm Ryan Dominguez, and I just got up front with cheer. Remember, Jags, if you're going out for Halloween tonight, stay safe. And also keep in mind there's a high chance of rain tonight. So if you're thinking of wearing something skimpy, you might want to think twice. Well, that's it for Jane and today. We'll be back in two weeks. That's Friday, November 14th. I'm Anaisa Melina. And I'm Melissa Miranda. Have, Have a happy, happy Halloween, Jags. Jags.